Hey everybody, Jeremy Redman here from Task Magic. We just had a huge light bulb moment. I love that that's there. Uh, Kyle and I were discussing making this video and we wanted to demonstrate how Task Magic can change the world and be the best automation tool it possibly can, the best tool on the market by combining by combining API-based automations like Zapier or Make, things like that, and browser-based automations, like things you can click, type on the front end, which is what our bread and butter was, the magic in it. And we believe now progressing, the magic is combining both of them, and this flow kind of demonstrates that. So this is the huge change step uh, going forward, combining API or app-based automations and browser-based front-end automations where you can just point, click, type, and combining them. That is the magic. No other tool right now does that. Um, so check this out. It's a great demonstration on how that is done. And let us know what you think. If you like tools and tips on how to save money, save time. I'm getting my own call to action messed up. Save time and make money using automations and hearing from us and tips on how to do that. Please thumb us up. I, we need that. We need that more than anything. We need that so I, I could not be 2 a.m. listening to Snores McGee over here. Anyway, I, don't, I hope I never can hear that. Anyway, watch this. It's amazing. It, it is literally 1.30 it's after 1 o'clock um, on the road. So, but I wanted to get this out because this is a huge update. This is a great demo on how this works. But again, follow through all the way through. This is an amazing video. Um, subscribe, subscribe to this. We need, we need your help. It's the only way we can spread uh, the word about this. So thank you guys so much. Check this out. Hey everyone. So gonna set up an automation today that is using the Google Sheet new row trigger. Um, and when this trigger fires, we're going to go look up this username on Instagram. We're going to scrape uh, the post count, its bio, the follower count, and the following count. And then we're going to use the app steps to find and update that row in our Google Sheet. So uh, first step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a blank automation uh, with Instagram.com. That way I can add my cookies to it to automatically log in. So just really quick. Let's go ahead and save this really quick and then I'm gonna go grab my cookies so I just open Instagram really quick uh, we can click on the cookie icon right here and then the export icon go back into task magic click these three dots add cookies and paste those cookies so again just our auto login um, instead of us having to record the type step obviously can record the type step uh, route as well either method is gonna work for you so back to recording. Now that this is gonna automatically log us into Instagram, uh, we're gonna build the rest of the flow. So this first URL right here, instead of us going to Instagram, there's no real point. Um, what we can do, like just going to Instagram.com, what we can do instead is go directly to that person's profile. So you'll see, for example, if I click on Jordan Peterson's profile, um, you'll see the username is in the URL. So it goes something like Instagram.com slash username. So what we will do is change this go to page step so that it's going to use uh, that value from our Google sheet when we set that up. So we'll come back to that step after what we need to do now is, is we can scrape all of the values we want. So I'm going to click plus scrape and then single, and then let's get their name, confirm, scrape and get their, I think it was the post count is next. Let me see. Oh, I mixed it up already. Wow, I really mixed it up. Okay. Wow, I didn't think I did that bad. Okay, one second, we can fix this. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna get the name, the post count, and the bio. So let me open Chromium back up, scrape single, and get, let's just get like this uh, general bio area, I guess would be this part. Yeah, I guess this part would be considered the bio. Uh, and then let's get the follower count and let's get the following count, I 
think that was everything. We might have missed them. If we miss anything, we'll just add another step uh, when we actually make this an automation. So that's it. All it does is go to a profile, scrape something, scrape a bunch of stuff, and then it is done. Uh, next, what we're going to do is we're going to set up the actual connection to the Google Sheet. So let's do that. I'll go ahead and click set up trigger and then let's look for Google Sheets. And then we are going to select new row as our trigger. We'll go ahead and connect our um, connect our app. If you haven't done this, it's just a sign in with Google thing. And then I don't remember what I was doing here. It's Instagram data. Um, that is our spreadsheet. Whoops. That's our spreadsheet and select the worksheet max number to pull. So this is going to depend on the max on the number of rows you have in your Google sheet. Um, you'll pretty much want this to be more than how many ever rows you have. So I'll just do 50 in this case, cause that's plenty. Um, if you have like a thousand rows, you can make this 2000, 3000, whatever you want to do, um, whatever you can do there. So we'll go ahead and click test app. And then I'm going to go and add a new record to my Google sheet. So I'll just go ahead and repaste the Jeremy Redman, and then we can click check for new data to see those records. So it might take up to five minutes for that to arrive. So I'll unpause this once that gets here, just cause I'm not sure how long it's gonna take right this second. Um, but once that's here, we're gonna select our data and keep building. Okay, we're back. So I added another record of your V1. Um, I kind of went back and forth and cleared my sheet cause I didn't want those old things here. So. Here is what we have. Um, whoops. Okay. So empty Google sheet. Um, I have your V1 as the latest record, uh, which is what this trigger has. We're going to update our go to page step to have Instagram.com slash at values dot a, cause this is uh, replacing what is ever in the Google sheet with this URL or at the end of this URL. Then we want to scrape, scrape, scrape. Everything there is fine. And then we want to use the apps action to look up what row we want to edit once this loads for me. Nice. There we go. Google Sheets. And then we want to find rows. The connection is the same as when we had for triggers. Um, our spreadsheet is going to be the same one, which is Instagram data. And then we have our sheet here, which is username tracking. We want to search in the usernames column. And we're having an exact match for whatever was entered at the very beginning. So what we're looking to do is find out exactly which row um, was edited so that or the new row that was added. Uh, by using this find step. I think that the Google Sheet trigger, oh, it actually gives you the row that it was, so you can just use that same exact row instead. Uh, this could just be row, but if you're not using the Google Sheets trigger, you're gonna need to use a lookup value, like what came in, to find that. So I'll just continue that way. And then the starting row is, let's say, two, and you wanna search 500 rows at a time, whatever you want it to be. I'll go ahead and click Test App, um, but this isn't going to find anything because nothing is values a let me do a search like this so that we can get something So this is returning the row that we want to edit and the values that are there so I'll change this back to using a variable and then Let's add a Google Sheets update step the update row Same thing here newest app Spreadsheet is going to be the same one we're working in, which is Instagram data. And then we have username tracking. The row number is going to be, uh, we could use the row that came in from our trigger, uh, or we can use what came from our find step. I'm using this since if you're using any other trigger besides the Google Sheet, uh, you're not going to have this row uh, the same way you would. Then the first row is headers, which is what we need and we get to put all of our information back in. So usernames is what we had at the beginning. Post count is going to be, I don't remember, I think step three. Bios, let's say step four. Follower count, step five. 
and step six. So these are gonna be our uh, steps for updating this Google Sheet. <clears throat> what we can do is we can quickly, let me actually leave this as your V1 and do this as like a row, I'll do row four. Um, so you guys can see this. When we click test app here, what this is gonna do is put all of those values uh, in the Google Sheet. Now, because this automation hasn't ran, uh, these aren't gonna have any value, so it's gonna put just the at step three, at step four, at step five, things like that. But you can see how this is gonna handle updating our Google Sheet. So that is all we need to do. I think I changed everything back to what it should be. Nope, this needs to be that, and that needs to be that. Now we're good. So we can go ahead and run this and see how it works. So when we run this, it's gonna use the data from our Google Sheet that we selected, which is going to be the your v1 uh, header here and it's going to go to that page scrape some stuff and then update our google sheet again this would be triggering automatically if we turned this on but because we're running it from desktop it's using the data that we uh, that we set it up to run with all right let's go ahead and click play steps because the last time i tried i got a phone call which cut all my audio so this is going to start at instagram.com slash your v1 and scrape all of our details. So I think I mismapped things. I don't think I grabbed what I said I was gonna grab with post count and bio and order. But you can obviously scrape and do with that however you wish uh, regarding whatever information you actually want to scrape. So we'll see this here, it grabbed all this data and then it is going to, oh, it already did update that Google Sheet. So again, what it's doing is going to this page, scraping a bunch of stuff, looking up the Google Sheet and updating, uh, looking up which row we're working in and then updating that row with all of the scrape data.